Hello everybody, it's Karen here from tuppenscoloured.co.uk and thank you very much for joining me today. Uh, this is the card that I've been making today. Uh, it's a card with a surprise. When you open it up inside, there is a little dog that spins around and around and around. Lots of fun to make and if you stay with me, I will show you how I made it. Here are the things that I'm going to be using to make my card today. The card base is a piece of Knight of Navy and I've cut it down to 11 and a half by 4 inches, scored and folded at 5 and 3 quarters. And I've got two pieces of uh, DSP. This is from the Delightful Daisy set. And I've trimmed these down to 3 and 3 quarters by 5 and a half. Uh, I'm going to be stamping and colouring in on some shimmering white card and I've also got some uh, little scraps of Whisper White and Knight of Navy for doing some, uh, some matting and layering. I'm going to be using the Lots of Labels Framelets. The stamp set that I'm going to be using is Bella and Friends. That little puppy is so, so cute. And I'm going to stamp with uh, Tuxedo Black Mento and embossing in clear embossing powder. I'm going to be doing some colouring and I'm going to be using my stamp and write markers. Now I have here crumb cake and Sahara sand which are from the neutrals and from the in colours I have some emerald envy, flirty flamingo and peekaboo peach. I've also got a uh, uh, yeah. Can't think of the can't think of the blender pen. Couldn't think of the name of it. Brain is gone. Um, and I'm also going to be using some of this. This is uh, clear elastic. It's sold for uh, beading. People make um, bracelets and jewellery out of it. Now I'm using this because it's what I happen to have handy. But something like um, clear sewing thread or uh, monofilament, um, fishing line, anything like that will work just as well. You just want something that is nice and fine and is, is, is going to be unnoticeable in use. I want to use this image of this little dog as the spinner in the middle of the card uh, and I want it to have a front and a back so whichever way you look at it uh, you see the, the picture of this little dog but she's not symmetrical uh, so if I just stamp her twice and cut her out then when I uh, put the two pieces together they're not gonna they're not gonna meet they're not gonna fit uh, so there's two things I could do I could stamp it out twice and, um, and and cut round it and just stick it together so that the back is plain but I don't want that I want the image on the front and the back so I've got to be a little bit clever about it uh, so once I can just stamp her just as she is and I will do that in a little while but just for now I've got a piece of um, clear plastic here and this is just uh, a piece of packaging material okay I just want something that is clear and smooth and not porous um, and I've got the dog mounted up onto my stamp press now a stamp press does make this a little bit easier because it allows you to stamp more than once in exactly the same position but if you haven't got one of these you can just stamp straight onto your your piece of plastic uh, just the once but if you can do it more than once you should I hope get a better image Now I'm going to press down and stamp her once and I'm going to do a second coat so that I've got lots and lots of ink hope you can see this my work surface isn't very large and I'm trying to to make sure I don't bounce too much because that makes people seasick. Okay. Okay. So now I've done that twice, and I think that's probably going to be enough. I could do a third time if I wanted to. Um, but I'm just going to move my little doggy out of the way for a moment. And I'm going to bring in a piece of card which I have smudged with my inky thumb. Never mind. We can use the other side. I'm just going to hold this down so it doesn't move around and I'm just going to bring in my piece of plastic with my little dog and I'm going to dob it down and just press on top of it and I'm trying to just press up and down not to go from side to side because if possible I do not want to smudge my little doggy okay. 
how's that looking? Just keep pressing, just keep pressing, just keep pressing, pressing, pressing. Okay, and that's quite a nice clear image. Now it's never going to be as sharp and as black as if you, um, as when you stamp directly, as you will see in a minute, but it will do for now. Okay, and this is going to be the one that's on the rear of the image, so hopefully it's not going to be quite as um, quite as visible. Uh, and I am now going to. Put some clear embossing powder over the top of that. And I'm going to heat emboss it. Back in a minute. And through the magic of editing, I've gone ahead and finished off my stamping uh, and heat embossed all of my images. And the reason why I'm heat embossing them is because I'm going to be colouring them in with my uh, Stamp and Write markers and blending them out with my blending pen. And um, I don't want my black outline to run. So uh, I'm going to be doing this with a little bit of fast forwarding and uh, see you in a minute. I've fussy cut out my two little dogs for the spinner and this is going to be my front panel which I've die cut out but I'm not happy with the with the balance on this one uh, the little dog is is too far over this way and I need something in here so what I'm going to do I'm going to freehand draw and colour in some uh, some little hearts just to uh, just to fill in the space To uh, and then that'll be fine. And while I was over at the big shot, I also die cut a piece of Knight of Navy in the uh, the next size up of the label so that that mats onto that very nicely. And I'm just going to layer it up once the uh, the fast fuse decides that it's going to play. Please. And uh, for everybody who mentioned my finger and said that they hoped it got better soon, uh, it is getting much better. It's just at the not very pretty stage at the moment and you don't want to see that. So um, that's why I've got it covered up today. But it is fine. My hand is fine. Okay, so that's now ready to go onto the front of the card. While I was over at the Big Shot, I uh, die cut out another one of the label shapes in Shimmering White. I was originally going to use Wisp White, but in the end I thought the Shimmering White would, would look better. And it did look a bit bare and, uh, and interesting, so I stamped and coloured in the little parrot at the bottom of the shape, just like that. Stuck it down to um, uh, one of my pieces of DSP with some fast fills. And I've stuck the other piece of DSP onto the front of my Knight of Navy card base. So I'm just going to layer these up together, just for now. And I just want to stop it moving around, so I'm going to just tack that down with a couple of pieces of me low-tack tape. Just so that it stays where I want it to. And now I'm going to take my piercing tool and I'm going to put a cork underneath it and I think around about there is going to be a good place I'm going to pierce a hole and the low tack tape is being a little bit too low tack it's gone 
it's more like no tack at the moment not what we want at all okay so let's put my cork underneath to spare my fingers that is about where I want to pierce a hole and I'm going to push through all of the layers of cut it's going to pierce a nice hole just like that okay so let's split those apart and now we're going to do some threading of the elastics. I'm going to cut a length of it much much more than I think I'm going to need okay. six inches even eight inches there and I'm going to thread that through the hole in the front of the card and I'm going to bring it round to the back and I'm going to stick that down with the way it's gone, some tear and tear like this. Just going to tape that well down. I don't want that moving anywhere. Sorry for the cut there, folks. The fast foods uh, ran out, so I had to go and put a new cartridge in. But now we are good to go. So, on to the back of my piece of DSP. I'm going to apply some nice, fresh fast foods. And I'm also going to take the back off my tear and tape here, just for good measure. Make sure that this sticks down really, really well. And keeping the elastic out of the way, just for a moment, while I line this up, just like that. And that time, the phone rang. Uh, so I'm going to take the other end of my elastic and I'm going to thread it through the hole in the top of my card and I'm going to bring it up so that it's at right angles and that is where I'm going to want my elastic to finish and again I am putting tear and tape a couple of pieces of tear and tape along there just to hold it and to trim away the extra and that is the shape that we have. So there I have my clear elastic. So now I'm going to bring in my little dog and I've put some tear and tape on, not tear and tape, okay. So now I'm going to bring in my, my little dog and I've put some fast fuse on to the back of one half of it. And now I'm just fitting her where I want her to sit on that piece of elastic. And I'm just bringing the shapes together. And there she is. No, oh, that's too long. So I'm going to put some fast fuse on to the back of my little dog. Oops. Okay, so both pieces are nice and sticky. And I'm going to start with this piece and I'm going to put this little dog where I want it to be on my elastic. I think 
Yeah, I think that's about it. So let's press that down. And now let's bring back the other bit of dog and try not to stick myself to it. So that would be really good, Karen. Yeah, there you go. Get that absolutely where I want the elastic to be. Because I don't want a drunk dog. trying to find the, uh, the kind of centre where it'll spin nicely. That's it. That's, that's close enough anyway. It's close enough for our purposes. You know, it's not exact, but that does not matter here. And there is my little dog, who spins around in the card. There she goes. And because it's elastic, I can if I like open it right up, but uh, I'm not going to. Last of all, put the front panel onto the card. And again, I'm going to take the backing off of the tear and tape because I want this to be well sandwiched in between the card base and the front panel and again with the fast fuse and as always the trick with fast fuse is a very light touch and a flick And that's it then. So there it is, there is my finished card and if I give my little dog um, a few winds on the elastic before I close the card up, just to go round and round and the more often you go, um, the more often the little dog will flip around when you open the card, uh, just like that. So I think that's a lot of fun. And I hope that you enjoyed this video. I certainly enjoyed making it. Uh, if you did, then don't forget to click that like button and to share and to subscribe to my channel. I will be posting more videos soon. Uh, if you want to see what else I've been up to, then hop on over to my blog or to my Facebook page. And if you visit my Facebook page and leave me a comment or show me a picture of what you've been up to, I would be thrilled to bits. But for now, thank you very, very much for joining me. And I hope you'll come back and see me again soon. Bye-bye.